Hello everybody, about ready to take my bike into the dealer for its first service and I got something. This box. Woohoo! I don't know how it's going to work in there. Speed shifter. Looks like a pretty simple couple bolts. Then it has a wire that runs someplace up in there. That's up to the dealer to figure out, I'm thinking. Um, pretty excited. Can't wait to get that moving. All right, there it is. I'm pretty excited they got me in on a Saturday. That's awesome. I would have wanted to wait for it anyway. I cannot wait to get rid of this car because they have been Pokey the Bear all the way down. Face shield up. Oh, nice. Oh, there's the riding school over there. I am not following these guys. I am going for the service. Just jumped off for the service of the Pan Am, and they got a whole little shindig going on out here. Tons of bikes, some music, maybe a little food. have mascots. took about two, maybe two and a half hours to do the first full service and the speed shifter. Uh, it was the first speed shifter, quick shifter that they put in, a factory one, uh, on the Pan America. Uh, they were actually a little nervous first about how long it would take, but uh, the mechanic knocked it out pretty quick. No worries. Um, gonna have to try it out, try to try it out on cam for you. But, as you can see, I'm in traffic. Uh, shifter does feel, I don't want to say looser, but like more distance to shift up. Yeah, let's try this one more time. Oh, there it's close the throttle. Downshift, that actually went down. This nice little turn here. I'll shift down again. Nope, did not go down, but I did get the buck like the throttle was disconnected. So I wonder if the mechanical piece is physically different than the electronics piece. Like the electronics piece does the hesitation to say, yep, shift, but I am not moving it far enough, which is weird because I didn't have to move my foot that far prior to engage. Alright, we're gonna... I'm really not gonna be able to get enough revs up safely on this road. Hey everybody, Jerry, back home. Fan is on, doors are open, it is hot out here in the workshop. Hope the sound's okay. And a nice big beautiful dead cat here. Uh, dissecting my bill from 
Eisenhower, Chesapeake City, Harley Davidson in Darlington, Maryland. Um, drain pug, one dollar. Oil lubrication, they it's a synthetic thing they had, something special for the Pan America. $43.80 for four quarts. That's probably right on par what I would have paid if I did the kit myself. Uh, oil filter, $14.49, same price. They have a $3.95 lubricant fee. Might be for the chain or whatever parts they go over. I'm not sure. Four hours for the service, $115 an hour. $460 an hour for the first service for just that little piece alone. Um, I was only there two and a half hours, but I guess if they have multiple people working on it, uh, it looks like they did some battery tests and all that, they could just be spread out and uh, I'm not going to argue with that. Uh, price is a little bit higher than I thought, but I, I, I feel confident uh, I was well taken care of there. I did get the speed shifter put in, they charged me a dollar for a zip tie or it says tie strap, which is kind of funny, but looking at it, it's the good one where you can actually unlock, unlatch it and put it back on. So, I, whatever. And then half an hour, and they did charge for the half hour, $57.50. So that's pretty cool. Um, everything else, it just says that they check for recalls um, and all that stuff. The total came out to be with tax $585.61. Just looking through, seeing if there's anything else. This is the first time I'm dissecting into this. This is me paying. Uh, oh, they did give a printout, I guess, from the manual, probably online, uh, what they did for the first service. Uh, and it's kind of cool because it lists all the services. So if I do elect to do it myself, I could just follow their little book. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. No comments, really. No comments. Um, no, they. It's pretty standard. Uh, I'm not even sure. Oh, this is the battery test. I didn't. I don't even know how to read this. I'll have to dissect this later. If anybody wants to see what the battery test is? The guy at the service center said my battery test was great. It came out fine. I keep it on a charger if I'm not riding the bike more than a day or two, so I wouldn't expect to have any problems with that. Uh, just some with some of the things uh, I read on the forums, I will go through and check the terminals, make sure they're nice and tight. That little safety lubricant grease thing is on there just to keep that you know bundled up. I keep an eye on the hose um, for the radiator on the brake side. No problems with that yet. I still got a nice gap in there. Um, talking to the, them at the service place, they're like, they, they don't foresee any problems with that. They said that if it starts to melt, bring it in. Um, so no problems there. I, there's also a bunch of reports on the forum about the rear brake reservoir working itself loose. No problem with that. Uh, I did undo the bolt, put a little bit of Loctite in there, just a little extra support though. Uh, first thousand miles are great on this bike. This is such a fun bike. Um, I can't tell you how much I like it. Uh, as far as rating, Eisenhower, Chesapeake City, Harley Davidson. Uh, if you're in Maryland, you, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if, I'm, if these prices are a little bit higher than another dealership, but from reaching out to someone for an initial contact, dealing with the salesperson, dealing with a finance person, you know, I got to interact with the people in the store, the parts guys were awesome. And today was my first real interaction with service. And other than me pulling into the wrong spot, they were awesome, very nice. Everything was clean. Uh, I would give that dealership five stars. Um, they only charged me MSRP on, on, a, on the new bike and they didn't charge that I don't know, setup fee or whatever Harley Davidson does have on the doc on the website that say may be charged for. So I have no problem paying for service. These guys are top-notch uh, experience. I would definitely go to them again.